three. Okay, I'll just get my socks on. Just get this stupid thing over with. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. How many do we have to finish this one? Like five? <laughs> and what time is it? It's already 10 19. Alright, let's just do this. I'm gonna go get water. So I'll stay in a bubble. Try your best. Uh oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I couldn't use my other hand. I have to go to the bathroom. Hmm? I have to go to the bathroom. To go to the bathroom. Mm. Oh, oh. oh, you gotta be kidding me. Go the back, Murray? Yeah, I'm just gonna have you play. Why? I have to go to the bathroom. Nope, you're out. Nope, you're dead. Oh! I'd like to go back to that park again we went today. Oh God, I gotta go in here. You gotta go in here. I would like to go back to that park again we went today. You will. Someday. Mm. Oh, <laughs> Maybe tomorrow? Maybe. What's today? Thursday? Thursday. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's March. Tomorrow's March. Ah. Uh. Five people out of our family have a birthday in March. Ah. Uh. You know that? Really? Eric. Stacy. Lucas. When's Lucas's? March, I think. Uh, Marcus as well. You don't know what date my Lucas is? No. Oh, and oh. Dan. My grandpa Dan. We're going to have to find out when Lucas's is so we can see. Marcus's, him. though. Who's Marcus? The person that died. Yeah. His birthday would have been March 8th. But you never know, Nicholas. Yeah, you know? I do. How? Because I, I, I know that. How can you know it? Nobody knows. It's impossible to know that. He would have been born in March of 2000. 
Mm. Yeah, March, but you can't know March 8th. I mean, I was born two months early. I was supposed to be born on September 30th. No, a month early, at least. I was Maybe October I was supposed to be born. But I was born way earlier than they said I was going to be born. Well, March 8th is his birthday. Okay. Well, that's how I'm choosing it. Okay. Use whatever you want. You say potato, I say potato. But that's not a problem, though. It's not a problem. You say potato, I say potato. But you can't change his birthday. I can't change it. There is no such thing as a birthday. You have to be birthed to have a birthday. You have to be born. Still wish he never died. That's what the set. That's what it means. That's what it is. Birthday. Why He's, not he still have never. He should have never died, though. Yeah, there's a million billion people that should never died, right? What are we trying to do here? I gotta go back and hit that thing. I wonder what he'd like to eat on. Ah. You ever wonder that? <sighs> no. You probably wouldn't. Mm, I can't jump up high. For some reason it suffered while with this trampoline. It's it's weird. When I try to press jump, it doesn't make you go jump high, right? Perfectly. No, it happens. Sometimes, I bet it it happens. Works. sometimes it works good, sometimes it doesn't. No, he would not like e Okay. I would bet he'd be saying I'm this army. I bet he would. Well, I do. I know you do. We all know you do. Probably you should tell never... us every day. What? You tell us every five minutes. Oh, so it should have never happened. <laughs> what should never happen? Moving. From my own to here? Yeah, yeah you're not, you know, we know that, because like you tell us every day. It's depressing. It's supposed to be spreading joy, not depression. It won't go away until we move back. Okay. Good luck with that. Never gonna move back? I wish you the best. Well, I hope you do if you want to. I mean, you, I've t we go over this every day, Nicholas. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You gotta make some money. It's the only way to pay for a plane ticket, get to Ireland, buy a house, and then live there. Yeah, but I'm not the one buying the house, though. You're gonna be 18 in three years. No, I'm still living with her. Oh, after you're 18? Yeah. Okay, so she's going to buy a house? Yeah, I want to live with her. Where's she going to get money for a house? Uh, we're still going to live Bal in Balinor Clothes, oh. where we lived. I, I just don't, I don't want to live by myself. I want to take care of her because she's old. Oh. And that's what some people do when they have old mothers. Yeah, they do. Just in case, like, what happens if someone breaks in her house oh, at okay. 80 years old? I hear you. But what I am I going to do if I live at the other p part of Ireland? I'm not going to do anything. <sighs> But essentially, she'll still be taking care of you, is what you're trying to tell me, correct? Well, I mean, Barnadette's son lives with her. Huh? I mean, is that when you'll be getting her the ice cream instead? Or are you still gonna be, is she going to still be getting you the ice cream? Mm -hmm. You going to go on that one? I'm going to be 18 in three years. Uh, yeah, that's how I'm That's gonna... when people join up for the army and they fight people with guns and... They're grown-ups. You know, they get jobs. Hopefully. Most of them. So, you're really not in a position to say what you're going to be doing to them because you just, you know, you never know with this. But if that's what you want to do now, you have to prepare for it. You have to make money. <laughs> well, I'm living with her. Yeah, she's going to make money. Though. There's no way that you're going to be able to afford that without jobs. It's a house. You gotta pay property taxes. You gotta pay for food. There's all types of things that come with the cost. This is all free in, that, in the United States. And your mother has a job now. So is she gonna be able to find work there? 
Who knows? It's odd to find work everywhere. That's why these people come there. Oh, I'm dead. I don't know. Well, like I said, you also, you, not only if you have a job, because you can't get your check on Friday and spend it all at McDonald's. You have to manage your money. You have to get apps to save money because you have to make your money, you have to make your money last. You can't get con because there's your whole, your whole week of food that you needed that money for. Hmm, oh man, no. Hold oh, on, we'll be 18 until on time. Yeah, two seconds. Oh, bo, bo. Two seconds. I mean, I was going to join the army when I when I was uh, eighteen, but I I had to go back and get a GED, and I never did it. Well, I can't move oh, that. I mean, <laughs> well, I should have probably just moved back. Well, if she. Because you said what you said you said to me why didn't she move back if she wants to go back right you said that no. a couple days ago why didn't she move back if she wants to move back yeah she said that no I'm telling you why I told you why because of the jobs here because of the apartment that's free <laughs> you don't get no, that in you, Ireland no you said that you she should have just moved back if she wants to <laughs> you did say it. Okay, I don't recall saying that, but I I can agree with that as well. If she wants, she's been saying it for <laughs> years. Saying what? Years. She's been saying what? Oh, uh, Ireland. She's been saying Ireland for I years. I want to go back to Ireland. Okay, well then if she wants to, she can't. Because Why? Because of the money and the free apartment she and all the things money. I just talked about. She so has the money for a house. They're moving out this year. She has money for a house in Ireland. The she house has, we lived in. Exactly. Who's going to pay for the property taxes? Who's going to pay the mortgage? Who's going to pay all Her. the fees? With what? With what? So Nicholas? you're saying we can't move back there? No, I'm saying you have to plan for it and make money and get a job and get money. You have to have the... the Shane's you, saying don't move back. Yeah, I'm sure he is. He did say that today. Gee. And I said I don't want to see you again. I wish I never met you. That's marvelous. What? That's marvelous. <laughs> it's the truth. That's going to turn into a fight. Do you really think I would have liked to met him? No. I don't think it's important to me, Nicholas. This is just... It always turns into arguments. Because it's the, it's the truth, same thing though. Over and over again. I never... I, this is the first time I've said this, actually. Because he just happened today. I forgot to say it earlier. Yeah, but it's it's the same conversation about Ireland all the time. But I tell said, you the same answer said, every don't time. Move back. He said, it don't costs move back. money to do things, Nicholas. She said I she say has the money. Often. Then why haven't you moved yet? She said in the summer. Okay. The summer. Okay, I'm gonna ask her. Okay, please ask her. Don't forget, please. Okay. You're gonna say what? I'm gonna say. Did you say Nicholas can't have that shirt because it's gay? Oh, not that. That was that one I know he lied to me about. But did you say you're moving back in the summer to Ireland? Because I'm curious if he's lying this time too. She said it. Okay. Well, that's probably like a pom pom, Nicholas. That sounds like a pom pom to me. Ooh, I want to move back to Ireland. I want to move back to Ireland. Okay, Shane, here's a pom pom. I will move him back to Ireland in the summer. Well, that calmed me down for 10 seconds and then didn't work the long way. Not gonna go back this summer? No idea. No idea. Then Nicholas. tell us, are we going back this summer? No, I don't want to be involved. You guys plan your lives yourselves. You said Make you were some... gonna ask her. I've changed my mind. Please, just, no, just please. No, I'm not getting involved with this ridiculous half lies, half truths, the shirt's gay. I'm, I'm not getting involved with these things, Nicholas. I've, I've gotten out of that uh, crazy behavior. 
I'm not, you know, I'm not, and you dragged me into it. Just like you shouldn't let Shane supposedly drag you into it, but I'm not really sure it's him. It is Shane. Of course it is. He's saying don't move back. It's not up to him. I did say I wish I never met him. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> better than him. Mark's better. Mm -hmm. He talks about crap. He's a dude that talks about Mark's crap. Mark's better than you too, Nicholas, because you sound exactly like Shane. Exactly like him. Saying the same thing. All the same exact things you tell me you hate about him. That's what you do. I mean, he... he He's a weirdo to say I'm not moving back. But, Nicholas... You can't say stuff like that. You're a weirdo for saying it over and over again. Nobody cares where you move. We're gonna miss you. Bye. Have fun. And you're gonna talk about me. I'm gonna talk about you, too. I miss, I miss Nicholas and Rick. I don't think I'm gonna talk about you nearly as much as you talk about missing Ireland. I'll say yeah. Every birthday or something. Oh, I remember we did this with Nicholas. Yeah, that was fun. He likes Ireland better. I hope he's doing good. And that'll be it, Nicholas. We're not going to go on and on and on and on. We're not going to be obsessed. Eric's going to be Your shocked. father would be obsessed again like he was before. Crying, stuff like that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. But we're different. We're, we're rational. We're not, so he's we're not connected like this. He's going to be shocked. Exactly. That we move back again. Yes. I don't know if he'll be shocked because I'm, I'm sure I'll tell him when the when the date's coming, so he won't be shocked. But he'll say, "I thought they were staying here in America." Apparently, he won't be thinking that by the time you move because he'll already know. Ah. Who's there? What the house? You live in an apartment? Huh? I mean, it was better because we lived in a house and we didn't live in an apartment. So that's why it was better. It was an apartment. I saw, I've seen it. It wasn't thing. an apartment. It wasn't? No, it wasn't actually. It was a house. So how many people lived in the house with you? They were all connected to each other. It's a house. That's an apartment. No, it isn't an apartment. It's a house. So if there's a house, Nicholas, and there's different people living in it, those are called apartments. That's inside. a house. No, a house, it is a house. A house is where one family lives, Nicholas. This is a house, but it's also an apartment building. No, it's a house. Because it's different apartments. It's in. a house. Okay. It is. You're, you, you just don't have good eyesight. I don't have good eyesight, okay. So there's different families living in your house with you. They don't live with us. It's just me and her that live together. In the house. Nobody yes. else lived in the house. No, no. Okay. Only us. Okay, so on the other side of the wall, there wasn't uh, people living there. Yes, but that doesn't make it an apartment, though. Yes, that's what makes it an apartment. No, it isn't yes, an apartment. Yes, that is it. That is what makes it's it an house. apartment. It's a house. We had this upstairs. This is an apartment, Nicholas. We had upstairs. Because you, because it's an upstairs, you think it's um, a house. We had a backyard. We had a we backyard. Had, uh, I can tell it was a house. Do you, do you really need me to show you what houses are? It's a house. No, you don't need to show me. It it's a, a house. house. I grew up in a house. My mother lived there. We had an upstairs. We had an attic. My mother lived there. My sisters lived there. My okay. brothers lived there. Nobody else lived in that house. Then at least it wasn't a shelter. Okay, it wasn't Where it was a shelter. Where 14 families. <laughs> in Roxbury. Exactly. It was much better than that. It was an apartment. There was no psychoabia, yet. Nothing. Exactly. That's what's better. Exactly. But I think she moved because I'm going to move to America to make Nicholas upset. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe this might work to make him upset. I'll move to America and keep him there for seven years. You might very well do better in Ireland, Nicholas. You know, you never know. You might be right. It might be better for you. And I'd be happy for you. 
It's better. I wasn't in special education, which exactly. we all know. So it might, but I mean, if you do it this summer and you get there in tenth grade, Nicholas, it might be better for you. Getting back in that class and getting in regular. It but might, I might, it not, might, be I might not be in America in September, though. That's what I'm talking about. If you go there this summer, you won't be there. You'll be there in September. What's the kids in North Bethany High School going to say in my class about me? Leave. Oh, Nicholas is an island. They'll talk about it for a day, and then they'll, they'll forget about it, Nicholas. But Shane would be surprised. Yeah, he'll be surprised. He'll be saying, Nicholas didn't show up in September. Where'd he go? He's in Ireland. Oh, that's awesome. I wish I could go to Ireland. And the next day, they would stop talking about you. They'd be concentrating on their work. Everyone has kids move out of town. Kids, kids move out of town all the time. Although Shane's going to say, I guess Nicholas would be proud again. Maybe he will. Because he gets to hand out with Mark, Sam, and Jason again. Yeah. Well, that's not the wrong word. Proud. Proud means you're happy. Well, happy. I mean, I hope I can hang out with them again. Uh, I just don't, I just don't know, really, because Samuel obviously betrayed So I was obsessed with him a lot. Well, that's half the battle, knowing you're obsessed about things that you shouldn't be. But if you like it, then it's gonna, you're going to turn into an obsessive compulsive person when you get older. And it's not going to be healthy. I've been there. I know. Oh, no, Shane. I'm not going to stay in America. Well, you have to stay in America. Aww. Right? I don't have to listen to anything you say. Because I wish I never met you. Well, that's causing trouble, you said. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the truth. Say, say you miss you. Nicholas, when, when the truth hurts someone... You keep your truth to yourself. What would the teacher say if I said that? If they saw me say that? To she, she, I'm glad you leave in the class for saying stuff like that. And I'm glad I don't get to see you again, teacher. There you go. And then? You'll be back there the next day and you'll be like, Oh, well, oh, I guess we didn't leave. I have to stay here for another week and you guys are all going to have to well, listen to me say it all, all the time. I'm glad I'm not going to see you ever again, teacher, in the next day. Well, uh, we still didn't leave. I'm glad I'm not going to have to see you again next week, teacher. Oh, no, next week comes. Well, at least I won't have to see you the next week after this. And then you finally leave, and you're just going to make healthy yourself for the month before you leave. You're not going to say bye to people. I'll miss you or nothing. Sometimes they mention Arlen to me too much, too. And I don't think they shouldn't. You don't think they shouldn't? Mention about Arlen to me because you know where that goes. You don't think they shouldn't? Yeah. You don't you mean you don't think they should? Yeah. It's the exact opposite. They should not mention it. Because they have a choice. Because <laughs> you're upset. always talking about it. it. Makes me upset, they say. So so, hmm. it makes you upset when they say something, but you don't care that it makes them upset when you say it. They don't get upset. So, why would they care if it makes you upset, if you don't care if it makes them upset? They're not getting upset, though. They're not getting upset listening to the same thing over again, over and over, like Shane, like you get upset about Shane saying the same thing over again. Who wouldn't get upset about somebody saying the same thing over and over again? Everybody gets upset with this when somebody says the same thing over and over again. 
Well, then if I you stop... tell me every night you get upset about Shane saying the same thing over and over again, but nobody gets upset when you get say the same thing over and over. Doesn't make any sense. Ooh. Oh, we're going straight up this time, right? Up, up, up. hit you? Barrel. Is it a ghost? No. A barrel? Mm -hmm. Mark said he's excited. Are you moving back to Ireland? Mm -hmm. Did you tell him already? Well, I told him back in March when I talked to him again. Well, if he's excited, good. He's probably missed me a hell of a lot then. When's the last time you saw him? 2017. So that's a reason you can tell he missed the hell well, out of Where was he when uh, when you were there recently? I didn't visit Chile. Oh. And he's still there? Yeah. So uh, you can tell when he said, you got, dude, you got me excited and stuff, you can tell he was probably very upset that I left. And he probably still is. I mean, because we all have emotions, even when we're older, so... You never know what he was experiencing. Yeah, but we... We don't, when we're older, Nicholas, our emotions are intelligent. If we, if he we're... might have been upset at this age, though. We don't, we'll never know the answer. Well, if he is, then he's got issues. <sighs> Serious issues. But when I'm back, he's going to say... Nice to see you. What's up? You want to go play basketball? Well, basketball you're going to say no. Basketball's not really popular in Ireland. It's usually soccer. Well, he'll say you want to play soccer, and you'll say no. I want to play video games. Exactly. I mean, nobody's going to want to do that. Well, we're not going to play Mario, that's for sure. You can play, like, a PlayStation 2 game. I mean, some people do like that all the time, but... He might still like Mario. <laughs> Everybody likes Mario still, if they played it when they were kids. He used to be obsessed with Mario. I remember every day I went over to his house, he would always talk about Mario and the Minions. Well, how, old, how old is that one? Minions? No, Ma uh, Maverick or whatever his name is. Maverick? Yeah. Uh, his birthday is November of 2009, so he's going to be turning 15 this year. Ah, why, uh, why wasn't I moving? He's going to be turning 15. We both died again. Unbelievable. He's gonna be turning 15. I know, he's younger than Shane, too, which is crazy. Hmm. Shane was born in June of 2009. He looks younger, though. How many people in your class did you tell you moving back to Ireland this summer? Teachers. You told the teachers you're not coming back next, uh... Next year? No, I didn't say that. I said I'm moving back to Ireland. That's Probably. the same thing Probably. as saying you're coming back next year. Probably. I, I said you're moving back to Ireland. Probably. I thought you said you were. You just said... But I, I don't really believe her, though. She might be lying. But I, I'm, I'm being, trying to be positive. Hopefully, she's not lying to me. What do you think she's going to say... If I ask her, Nicholas, be honest with me. So, so what are you going to say? If I asked her if she told you you're moving back to Ireland this, um, in, in August. Or in July. In July, what do you think she's going to say? Be honest. Yeah. What does she always say when you tell me something? It's going to be the same thing, right? Tell I never said that. And you'll say, yes, you did, yes, you did. I never said that. Nicole. And it'll turn into an argument and but be she stupid as usual. But she did, though. Well, she did. She also said, don't wear that shirt. It makes you look gay. <laughs> so she's just going to lie to Which you? Which she didn't say. So I can't believe you, Nicholas, because you're it's like the, you're like the boy that cried that. wolf. You, cr you, 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 you lie, you lie, you lie, and then nobody can believe you, so they don't come and save you when you really need it because they think you're lying. 
I'm telling you she did say we'll move back in August. If she lies to you, then she's a jerk. Okay. And she shouldn't be doing that. So she might give you a pom-pom and say, Okay, Nicholas, I may have said that, but um, I just really wanted to make you happy. Nice. You should see this by Steve Harvey. Oh, 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 hold on. Can you pause it? Pause it. Maybe. You should see this by Steve Harvey, okay? He and his wife started a foundation. Can I ask you something? You can ask me anything you ever want to ask me. About the summer? I was from the summer. I was from the summer. You know. I want to show you something about Steve Harvey, right? If Are I you positive see. about it? We'll see, okay? I want to show you something, right, about Steve Harvey. He may his wife set up can his foundation. Watch it later? No, I want to, this is important, right? He took... He helped all these boys along the way to make something of their life. They were going through hard times. He said, you just got to be. This is one hell of a man, Steve Harvey. Yeah, he is nice. These six boys, he said, I don't care if you go to college. I don't care what you do. Be a man. Respect women. Do the right thing. Five of these boys ended up in college, all because of Steve Harvey's oh, influence. Nice. One boy I was in, in um, juvenile home. He's now in college. Can we oh. just... What a great guy. I'd like to see that. I'd like well, to see I that. just came across it around there. I'm Is there a whole video through. about it? The, his daughter said, are you ready for this surprise? No, first of the daughter came on the show. He says, I don't even know what's going on in my own show. My daughter just told me, are you ready for the surprise? And all six boys came out and thanked him. It's fabulous. Can we just say, are we doing that then? Yeah, we probably will, yeah. Okay? You should right. watch that with us too, Nicholas. It, I'm telling you... To bring a tear to your eye. Yeah. All he did for those boys. No, I know. And everyone who came out and thanked him and said, We love you, you know? Yep. Oh, <coughs> he's a good guy. He's a great guy. Hey. Okay. What? See, she said. She said what? We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> exactly. That's what I said she'd say. Uh, just changed it. <laughs> huh? She just changed it. To, we'll see. Exactly. She said, We're gonna. It seems like it's a lot more uh, promising than I was thinking, so, hey, you might be right, but, I mean, she's, uh, the, the person that's living in that house right now might have a five-year lease, Nicholas. A lease means you pay, uh, you sign a contract to live in the place for a certain amount of time, and until that lease is up, they stay there. It's the law, because they signed the lease. Stay there for five more years? It depends on what the lease is. It could be a 20-year lease. It could be a 10-year lease. It could be a one-year lease. It could be ended in August. That's a little bit negative. It could be ended in August. Is negative? Well, Julie if, if told the her. Lease, if the lease no, ends in Julie, August, Nick, was Julie, that was, means... Julie was telling her about the person living there. They were saying that she might be moving this year. Well, there you go. So and Maybe her, le her lease must be up. Or whoever's living there, the lease is coming up. It's up. It, 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 they might be leaving because the lease is over. Maybe she's not sure if she's going to sign a new lease. And how, how, how does Julie know there? about it, though? Because she's the one who's getting the money from the woman. But sign the lease. Well, that's kind of weird, though. Why? I mean, Julie's all the way in Dublin. She doesn't live in Julie. I know, but they use mail. Electronic mail nowadays. They just send it via the internet. So they... Julie's, so she's telling Julie that I'm moving back in August so Nicholas and Mari can move back. She's telling Julie... Who's telling Julie? The person with problem. No. No. My impression is she's not sure if the woman's leaving because the lease is coming up. When the lease comes up in Actually, August... Actually, I think moving back in August would be pretty terrible because then school starts. I would like to be there before school starts. July. And maybe it has to be next year. I don't know. Or not next year. I don't know. Maybe it could be... Yeah, I don't know. The school doesn't actually start in September in Ireland, which I hate. It actually starts in August. I gotta go back and hit that thing, so you gotta come down on it. Do you hate that? Yeah, we're getting... What, what are we, August 30th this year, right? It was it started on August 30th in Marshfield. No, we're back on September 7th. You gotta come down here a little so I can go over and get the North Quincy High School <gasps> is back on September seventh. Yeah, it was it it's yeah, some some schools in Massachusetts start in late August now. It's crazy. Well North Quincy When I was a kid it was like September tenth. 
Well, I we it will it won't ever change. What will it change? It would always be September seventh. Hey hey. Oh, 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 oh. Now we went the wrong. No, we didn't. I got it. I actually would like to see has anything ever changed actually like last time I was there actually. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised you guys didn't go check it out while you were there. You could have taken a train or a bus. Although I went on Google Earth. I'm pretty sure you might know what Google Earth is. I, that's how I looked at it, by Google Earth. Yeah, so I went on Google Earth and I looked at the place. Obviously, the place we lived. Everything looks the same. The house looks the same. Uh, the, there was a, everything looks the same. Except they removed um, a restaurant that where go or something. Everything looks the same. Besides, everyone's going to look old. How did we die again? Because we were talking as usual, mm -hmm. not playing. Except everybody's going to be older, which is going to suck. Right? Yeah, but that's a fact of life. I get used to it. One day. One day or not. Better now than later. Has to be more reasons though. More reasons for what? I'm not leaving. Leaving what, here? Or um, there? Yeah. What, before? Well, I mean, she's saying it's because of the jobs, but... Who's saying that? Her. Why? Yeah. But I think there must be many more reasons. Uh, was it just better to move back to America? Was it not safe in Ireland? Because was there criminals? The benefits are better here. You got an apartment right here. You got an apartment right here. In, in Ireland, you'd have to pay for the apartment or the house. You have somebody has to pay that rent, so Julie can continue getting that that check and splitting it with the three sisters or whoever owns the house now. So your mother wouldn't have to pay a third of it, but you would still have to pay. This, you, you have to pay taxes on it. You have to pay all types of uh, upkeep. It's not. I mean, I, that's that's the that's it, it's a condo. It's more like a condo. You know what I mean? It's a condo. So uh, this place here, this these are apartments. Now, condos are the same thing as this, but you buy the apartment. That's a con. I, heard, a I googled the reason why some kids are in special education, and it didn't say about a small classroom. It said it's to help them learn with disabilities. Yeah, no kidding. But they're actually not helping. <laughs> some of them are. Some of them are. Not the ones in here. No, well, some students they are apparently. I mean, how how is Shane gonna do in one of the regular classes? Is he gonna do all right in one of them, or would he be? Sent back down to the special class. How would you do in regular, one of the regular classes? Or would you just be sent back down? So Shane would be sent back down, though. Because if he's talking about uh, Mario, for example. Or he's, like, bothering people about pasta. I bet you he's going to get punched in the face. Because nobody would give a shit. You're yeah, probably right about that. And Shane's going to say, well, you have to say it the right way. I'm the boss. No, you're not the boss. If you don't leave me alone, I'm going to punch you in the face. Well, at the same time, Nicholas, there's also kids just like him in the regular classes. So he might make friends that are kids yes, just like him. Yes, but if bother people about saying pasta not the right way, he's exactly. going to get punched. Yeah, <laughs> but there's, there's other kids that he might connect with. You know but I, I think mean? he'll be sent back down there. He obviously and he, if he has a brain, he's not going to say it to someone that's bigger than him. <laughs> he's going to say it to people that he can punch back. He's not now, how come we missed it that time? How did no. that possibly happen? we got to go back in here. Can't. Let's shut the mouth. Talk about this another time. No. Well, this is the first time we talked about it, though. About how Shane's gonna do in a regular classroom if he did move there? No, because we've talked about this. This is all we talk about, Shane. Yeah, he would get sent back after probably a week. 
Exactly. If he's so talking they about wouldn't, Mark, they um, wouldn't let him bother any other student. If he didn't stop he the first listen. time, he won't listen. He'd be sent to the office. He'd be sent back to class. After they say you can't do that, he'd be sent back to class. He'd get detention. He'd have to stay after school so he'd learn. No, he'll be sent back. I know he will. Because I don't think. And then he'd be sent back if he didn't learn. You can't learn, kid. You, you won't behave. You won't stop bothering the other kids. But they'd give him like three chances. They'd give him detention. They'd punish him. They'd try to teach him. If he didn't learn, stop bothering people. Yes, they would have to send him back down because he's bothering the other kids. And these kids want to get an education. They want to go to college. They want to make money. They want to be able to move to Ireland or wherever they want to move when they go up. And they he's have to have about, money. And he, smart. Keeps, and he keeps talking about... Exactly. So if either he, either he learns in the regular class or he doesn't. And if he doesn't, he goes back down. That's the way it is. That's the way it's supposed to be, but who knows what they're doing now. They're not following the scripts. Maybe they'll make him the president of this class instead. Yeah, well, I want a door and a wall there. I actually, when I was looking at the classroom, I actually was imagining a door and a wall there. I think it would be perfect. It looks like it's a perfect... It's going to be so perfect to have a door and a wall there. It's not fair not to have a door and a wall there. should. Every other class has a door and a wall. Why doesn't yours? It's weird. Every other class in the whole school has a door. I mean, a wall. No doors. They don't all have doors to get into the other well, class. Well, we'll have to have a door because we can't just go in the wall. We'll keep bumping our face. How would you... Why would, why would you walk into a wall? Why wouldn't you just go out the door to the hallway? No, we need a, a wall and a door to enter Miss McDonald's class. Why do you have to enter Miss McDonald's class? That's a different class. Why would you ever have to go into her class? If we put a wall and a door, then as you say, we won't hear Miss Rogier talking. We can no, concentrate. No, but why do you need a door? You've been talking about this, though, with me. Nicholas, I'm asking you a simple question. We do Why need would you need a door to go over to Miss Rogier's class? How are we going to get past the wall, then? You don't go into her class. There's no need for you to go in her class. I am in her class. You're in her class. So yes. why would you have to go through a wall to get there? There's no wall. No wall. No door, no wall. To enter Miss McDonald's class. It's just plain, no wall. And in the classroom, Mr. Deere is next door. We've already talked about this, and you kept saying they should have a wall and a door. There. there is a wall there. I saw the wall. Yes, but it's not on this side where you enter the class. It's on this side. It's supposed to be here, too. Let me, let me explain to you how regular classes work with this. You should draw you a quick picture. Quick picture. Okay, then you know what I'll do then Look, tomorrow? Nicholas, that's the hallway. That's the hallway, see? Do you know what I'll do then I'm tomorrow? Draw, can I draw do you? you know what I'm going to pay do? attention for three no, seconds? No, I'm not going to pay attention. Three seconds. No. There's a hallway. There's a door. Do you know what I'm going to do There's tomorrow? There's a door. There's the wall. No, I'm There's gonna... your class. No. There's their class. You enter your class from the hallway. There's a wall there. I'm going to show you... A Shane name. enters his class from the hallway. They can't get to each other There's from inside the class. There's no door and a wall there on this side. They have to have a door and a wall there. You'll get the picture if I make a video no. tomorrow. I'm going to record the class. And I'm going to be the first one in the class and I'm oh, going to record it. Oh, because the hallway's there. The hallway's here. You enter from the hallway. No, there's no hallway. The hallway's where out. The, doors in, are. the hallway's where Mr. O'Dear's class is. The hallways where the doors are, correct? Where they're working on the on the building, where the staging is set up. There's a hallway when, when you, you walk hallway, in. hallway, you went to Miss Rogers' class. On the left. The right, and then. No, you showed me your classroom was on the left. It was on the right. Well, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, it's on the left. Sorry, and and then you enter, and then you see that there's no wall and no door. But ah, uh, yes, there's a wall on this side, but there's not a wall here and a door there. I, I'm going to take a video and you'll see. Oh, Nicholas, you were right. My bad. I'm sorry. No, I hear what you're saying. In order to get to that, in order to get to, to it would be in, for Shane, though, so for Shane to get to his class, he has to walk through your class. It would be easier If Shane's walk. coming from the hallway, in order for him to get to his seat, he has to walk through your classroom. Right. I think we need Mom to come out here and talk. Is she'll, that what has to happen? Is she'll it, tell you what it is, too. Can you tell me this? If Shane comes into the, your classroom from the hallway to get to his seat, does he have to walk through your class? Yeah, he just... There you go. He just walks, and, and, he, and there's just no door, no wall. He just walks himself in and box sometimes. 
Well, he has no choice. He has no choice, because that's the only way to a seat. Yes, they have to put a door on a wall there so that, that nobody can bother people. And that we can concentrate and not hear other people talking well, next I'd door. have to see the room in order to figure that I'm out. I'm going to record it. I'm going to record it and I'm going to show you. Okay. Right before everyone's in class, I'm just going to take a quick video, show you what the class is like, so yeah. that you can see perfectly. Right. And then I might show you Miss Rogers' class. And then you're going to say, oh yeah, they should have a no, door. No, that's across there. the hallway. I don't need to see that one. That's all one room, right? And it's... I could show you it so that you can see it's that. It's not necessary. It's 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 your, your class is the only one with two classes in it. Across the hall, there's one class. Correct? Yeah, where Mr. Maurice is. Exactly. And then Mr. G and Ms. McDonald uh, both have the same class, technically. Exactly. It would make it two different classes if they had a wall and door, I think. Right? Exactly. I'm not sure about the, if how that would work. If it was like the normal classrooms upstairs, that the, you enter the, the two rooms from two different I'm gonna take a video. Okay, I'm gonna take a video and I'm gonna show you. And then you're gonna say, oh yes, Nicholas, my bad, you were right. All right. They should have a door and a wall there because it would make it a two different classes. <clears throat> and you've been saying too, it's, it would be easier to focus because how can we focus if we're here and Mr. Deere talking next door? We're gonna be what? Exactly. So that's why they have to have a door wall there. I'll show you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have a wall that's covering this okay, side, so say but it's not covering this side. What happens when you walk into into that hallway and you walk by your class? What's the first class after that? What? Are you, what? If you come in from the outside where they're working on the wall, then it's the computer class. And oh, right next to. It. So what they should do is make the computer class where Shane's class is and make Shane's class the computer class. Because then you'd have a door from the hallway to Shane's class and a door from the hallway to your class. To get to the computer see, class, see, you gotta go outside and come in from you the You know back. what you should do? Why don't you just tell... Why don't you suggest this to North Whitney High School? Tell them that that's what they should do. To make it two different classrooms. They should definitely do something like that, because I'd, I'd have to look at to I think it will exactly be, what to do. Yeah, because I'm going to show you a video, I don't know if they, exactly. and we'll I'm see what we think. My, on my mind, I think they should just have a wall and a door there. It would make it two different classes. Keep the computer Whatever class. Whatever they have to do to, so you can't hear the other classes, what they have yes, to do. Yes, I hear them all the time. I heard them today, too. Exactly. All the time. Every day. It never, ever I ends. I mean, even with a, uh, if they're real loud in there, even with a door and a wall... You might hear a little muffled thing, but it's not going to bother you. Yeah, it's not. But there'll be two walls, so you might not even hear it at all. <laughs> so they should definitely have separation in the classrooms. Two separate I mean, why haven't they thought about that ever since? They should have thought about that like seven years ago. They have, Nicholas. They're intentionally messing with your head. <laughs> Just like you do that, everyone. They like it, apparently. Like you said, you like it. I don't like it. I want a door on a wall there. I know. You like messing with people's heads, though. So maybe they like messing with your head. Or all of us. No, just you, because you like it. All of us, then. It's called karma. It, well, it can't just be me. You're the only one that likes messing with people's heads. How do they know that, then? Because they smile. Well, they need to add one. Why well, we weren't supposed to go in there. I want them to add a door and a wall there. I can't concentrate. They should have. They should. I mean, if if I, you have to um, ask them to though. Did you ask them to yet? No, I don't want to. I, to. Mom said she will. I mean, I can't change it. It's not up to me. Yeah, it is up to you. I told you how to do it. Talk to a guy. Talk to Maurice. Maurice knows knows that it should be there. He's gonna agree with you, and then he's gonna say he's gonna. Get promoted when he says, why didn't we think of this a long time ago? He'll get promoted, and he'll get a raise, and all that type of stuff. Because he's smart. I should have thought of this a long time ago. Separate the kids so they can learn better. You're a genius, Mr. Maurice. Where'd you get that idea? Well, it actually came from Nicholas. But he probably won't say it because he wants the credit. <laughs> but he'd probably say it. And they'll say Nicholas was right, of course. We did think of that a long time ago. We just didn't have the money for the carpentry to come in in five minutes and put a wall. Which they're lying. It would probably take over a week to do it. Take a weekend, Nicholas. So what they do is they built the wall, they paint the wall, they put the door there. Yes. And then the kids they are going to say, wow. do it in a weekend. No problem. I used to do it in Northeastern all the time and put up temporary walls. And, and doors and all that stuff. But the kids might be like, 
Now we're out. All the way back at the beginning. I wonder how the kids would react, though, if that does happen, though. Well, they'll say, all right, we're going to have to get used to it, and then they'll get used to it. You see, in the normal classes, it doesn't matter how they react. It doesn't matter. It's good for them. It's tough, if they like it or not. So I'm going to have to remember to take that video. But I have to be at school early, so I'm going to wake up early, get dressed, and that's it. I'm not going to spend time ten minutes in the bed. In the, the, the point is, Nicholas, however they fix the issue of other people coming into your class from other classes... I'll try to get there like at 7.30... It needs to be fixed. If it's a door and a wall, it's a door and a wall. Just fix the problem. There's all kinds of different solutions for it. One of them is a door and a wall. That's a simple one. Do it. Do something. Don't let other people come into my classes when we're doing class. Yes, add a door and a wall. Okay. Please. So I'm going to show you that video, and you're definitely going to agree with me. That <laughs> I already agreed. I agreed with you the first time you told me that people were coming into your classroom. But when you see it, you're going to get... You're, you're gonna just say, Well, wow, we don't want to go in there. Oh, no. Come back. Come on. But well, when you see it, you're gonna say, Wow. <laughs> see, we, we both have ADD because we're bothering each other. We're doing stupid things. That's what happens in class. If the teachers, the teachers know that, they know it, and they're still allowing it to happen. That's if, why you, if you can't do a Mario game when someone's bothering you, you can't learn math, English, science, social, you can't learn anything. Because you're hearing other things. So the four. experiment we did was I was pretending to be Shane while you were trying to do the game, and you couldn't do it. You couldn't do the game as well as you could when someone wasn't bothering you. And that's the example you can give them. It's a we proved it by doing um, scientific tests on bothering people when they were trying to learn stuff or trying to do stuff. And we proved that the door and the wall would be better. It's already in the script. Everybody else, every other person in the school has a door and a wall between the thing, but you actually did scientific tests and proved it. Science? We didn't teach you science. How'd you do that? It's better. Oh, no, it's one star point. What the hell? I'm trying to remember. It's the, one that's the other door, then. We gotta go back in that door. Yep. And she, and even Mom says that she doesn't like North Quizzy High School. <laughs> Neither do I. It sucks. It sucks because there's not a door and a wall. That's why it sucks. Compared to middle school, we had a wall and door. Elementary school, we had a wall and door. Arlen school, we had a wall and door. Now North Quincy High School, no wall or door. What? Great. They're just... Is that that's your biggest complaint with the classroom? You gotta get that fixed by next year. You gotta, you gotta go to the to the class, the, the conference on the fourteenth. Tell them what classes you want to take next year, and tell them about the door in the wall that needs to be there so you can learn. Why not be in North Prince High School though? Exactly. But if you are, you'd have the. You'd, I'm you'd, not you'd, doing the March fourteenth then. Exactly. That you don't want to do what it takes to get the door in the wall, so you're just gonna complain She's about gonna it. She's gonna tell them. She said that. She said that to you and me the other day. Nicholas, you can't have your mother do everything for you. But she said it, though. I didn't tell her to do it. No, you didn't? So how'd she know about it? Because remember when we said that, she says, okay, I'm going to go tell them. That's telling her. It's you not telling her. her. How'd she know? She said that I'm going to tell them, but I didn't How ask her. How did she know about it? Because we were talking about it first. Exactly. We were talking. And That's said, telling her. It's not telling her, though. It is. It's informing her that you need a door on the wall. Okay, she can tell them she wants to. She already told them about the, the thing taking down the wall thing. The special t the thing. We didn't ever tell her about that. Mm -hmm. Did we? 
Did we tell her to take the sign, the special education sign off? I don't think so. I think she noticed that herself and mentioned it. What? You left it up there, right? Yep. And they're not going to put a door on the wall there either. <laughs> they're just going to lie. Like they lied about the well, sign. Well, Nicholas, the, the way to do it is to get other parents and other students all together and then present it. So you have to coordinate an effort and then follow through with the plan. Yeah, but you heard her say she was going to go up to the school and tell them about the door. Oh. So why didn't you just say that to her? Well, you got to remind her. That's all. She's been working a lot lately, so she hasn't had time to do anything. You can remind her about what? Going to the school and tell them to put the door on the wall in. And then the teachers would say... The teachers would say, okay, we'll do it, and they probably won't do it. That's why I just said, you have to get other parents involved, so you're, they're all, they all go in together as a, as, a, as a team, and request the dirt on the wall together. Because if you have all of you together, they won't be able to get away with not doing what they say. Yeah, but it was a nice delight about the sign. Should have told us, as you said. I don't know why they would lie. It's crazy. It's just the, the class is backwards. Backwards? Yeah. Crazy. It's backwards because they didn't take it off. Exactly. And they, the worst thing is lying about it. <laughs> why lie? No, we can't take that down. Okay. What's your mother going to do? I want it gone. No, well, sorry, man. We can't. <laughs> Why lie and say they're going to take it down? Just to just to give her the pom-pom and tell her to get out of there? That's what they did. But you can't do that to adults because adults come back and say, you just tricked me. They're just something wrong with them. It's backwards world. Get up here early in the morning and try to just get up there before everyone else does so I can show you that. Because it's just weird. And some some parents should have like mentioned this like seven years ago to them. I bet one of the parents did maybe years ago, but they probably lied. So <laughs> it probably was already mentioned by another parent years ago. We don't probably know that, but I, I believe so. Maybe somebody did mention it. I so Shane's teacher might be teaching English while your teacher's... T he te what? Where is the first coin? The last one. We already did that one. We checked it. It wasn't there. Oh, no. What were you talking about? I don't know. I forget Shane's teacher... Shane's teacher might be talking about English while we're teaching about science. Yeah. Right? No, Shane's teacher is the science. Miss McDonald is English. Who's Shane? Who's who's uh? Who's uh, Shane's teacher is Miss Rogier. And that's science. Yes, she does science. So you go over to Miss Rogier's class for science. And we go to the North Quincy High School store with her as well to Miss Becky. Sometimes. <sighs> it's just backwards world. It's how the periods are. What here. class? Are you learning when Shane comes over and bothers you? He bothers me sometimes. During what? During, during when you're doing what? Free time? I could say, uh... If it's just during free time, Nicholas, and you're all learning the same subject... It's still, it's still weird. I don't know, I don't, I don't understand how, how, um... Yeah, but do you think somebody did suggest that years ago about the door and wall? I how, bet how long did. do you sit in your, your main seat? How, how long out of the day? In your desk in, in the first... Well, we do have different periods. Exactly. So I don't, I don't sit there for a full day. Uh, 
Well, today I sat there probably about a couple hours because we were with McDonald for like three periods today. And then we went to computer class. Computer class was first period. Miss McDonald was two periods. Well, Miss Donald, McDonald's your teacher, right? Yes. And then Mr. Rogier was, uh, Miss Rogier was before lunch. Miss Rogier was long. So long. when you were with Mc McDonald for two periods, where was Shane? Where was Shane? Yeah. He was with Miss McDonald. In your classroom. No, we were in the North Quincy High School store for Lawn Block, but Shane was with Miss McDonald. He's not in Mr. Gears. He was not with us. Okay. Is it just confusing? Yeah, it's confusing. It's, it shouldn't be it should be two different classrooms. He's in Mr. Gears' class. Just to make class. it simple. He's in... So you're saying we should just be in Mr. McDonald's class the whole time and not go to Mr. Gears' class anymore? That's how it should Ooh, go out. Miss Rogier's class is what? No, you should have seven periods, Nicholas. You should be. You should never be in one class for more than forty-five minutes. Well, I thought you were talking. I thought you were meaning that way. Like we should not have Miss Rogier's class because Miss Rogier is not technically our teacher. It's Miss McDonald. What What class are you in when Shane comes over and bothers you? It's Miss McDonald. What? Subject. What period? What subject? English, math, social studies. What subject? Are Usually, you though, sometimes. Huh? Usually, social studies sometimes, but he hasn't been doing it since a long time. Okay, so Miss McDonald's is teaching you social studies, and Shane comes from his class, where he's learning what? And said, he's like learning uh, science. So he's doing science while you're doing social studies, and he comes from his science class. And bothers your social studies. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, but that's the that's the problem when you when you're learning something, someone from another class is bothering. You. That shouldn't happen. That's, that's, that's why a, a door and a wall needs exactly. to be there, and a door needs exactly. to be locked. Exactly. So All right, can't we're calling the next. No, 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 no. A couple. Yeah. No, we didn't even. Well, no. Yeah, it's eleven thirty already. We paid went way past my bedtime. Don't even have to save it, right? And we didn't even play. Yeah, exactly, because we're talking about this, this door in the wall again. I mean, this is like, Eric, Eric, we're talking about your problems for years now. You have to do this. You have to do it. You have to say something. You have to go to a guidance counselor. You have to go to Mr. Maurice. Those are solutions, Nicholas. That's how you fix the problem, so you don't have to keep talking about it. Peace.